Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, just um, doing a uh, remastering and rebasing tutorials today. I'm going to try to keep this quick as possible. So rebasing and remastering are two different things and we're going to learn what the two different things are and how to do them. So this one is obviously um, re uh, remastering from the title. Um, so first thing we're going to do is open up a song in Audacity. I have a dubstep song here and or load it up here. Um, so first thing is first. Um, uh, people think dubstep has like 20 hertz and stuff like that. No, it doesn't. The lowest I've ever found in dubstep is like 35 hertz. Okay, so we have our song here. Um, we're gonna click right here, right below um, the volume and pan. We're gonna click that. That means it's highlighted. We're gonna do Command D for duplicate. And so now we have two of the same thing. We're gonna go to the, click on the bottom one gonna go to effect equalization and then we're gonna make the window nice and big so it's gonna look something like this when you open it up so then what I do is I drag this fader all the way down to get more detail and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the line that says 80 Hertz which is this line we're gonna go up 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 we're gonna make a dot Gonna make another dot and drag this this one down all the way. Uh, you can see this technique being used in DJ Slow and Throws um, remastering video. This is where I learned it. Um, I strongly suggest you um, check out his video. Of what I've already done <clears throat> is I've set it as a preset, which is not too difficult. Just make sure you hit uh, Manage and Save Presets. And then you're good to go and slap that bad boy in there. Gonna say OK. We're gonna do Command R for repeat. So we're gonna do that twice. Sometimes we do it three times. So you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna do it three times. So uh, you know you'll get the feel of when and where you want to do it two th two times or three times. Um, and then next thing we do, we're gonna make sure this is highlighted gonna go to tracks or uh, yes tracks and then we're gonna go to stereo track to mono uh, the reason we're doing this is because we want the bass to be mono we don't want any stereo in, in there at all um, your head unit does that for you so you might as well do that um, in the signal um, going to your head unit alright and then so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, highlight the top one we're gonna do the same thing we did with the low pass, but for but opposite. So I already have a preset saved in there that I put in there myself. So it's the same thing. It's an 80 hertz, and then everything above 80 hertz is flat. Everything below 80 hertz is all the way down to negative 120. I'm gonna hit enter. Gonna repeat that once, or that's twice now. And then three times we have a high pass. And then we're going to make sure this is highlighted again. We're going to go to amplify and then amplify it to 0 dB. It automatically sets it to 0 dB, so all you have to do is hit enter. Okay, so now, um, oh yeah, we also have to highlight this one. Go to effect, go to amplify. And of course it sets it to 0 dB for you. So we're just going to hit enter. Okay, so now this is basically um, the starting point for creativity and the actual remastering of the um, <clears throat> uh, original uh, music file. So right now, um, basically we have fully declipped and, um, and new, well not new, but reshaped um, mids and highs track on the top and um, bass track on the bottom um, so <clears throat> so basically this is the cleanest we can get without um, like going to the studio and exporting a, a new file so um, uh, this is basically like um, where you have the most SQ basically um, so what you can do is you can export this as it is um, so that's going to be for like clean SQ and you know just clean listening. Um, you just want something smooth. You don't want loud bass or anything. 
Um, so that so basically, if you just want to clean up a song, you don't you don't want crazy bass. Then we're just gonna leave it right there, and we're just, you're gonna do your export, um, and that's that really. Um, but for being loud and having lots of bass, um, we're gonna want to do um, some reshaping. So I had the top track highlighted. Um, we're gonna go to compressor, and this is basically where you can go fuck yourself and not do this tutorial if you don't like this technique. Um, this is just a technique that I use. Um, I don't know what DJ Slow and Throw and Decaf do. I, did, I mean, I don't really know their techniques or anything like that, but uh, this is how I do it. Uh, this is called the Loudness War, is where you basically uh, um, do a maximizer and um, just make it louder without being actually louder. So that's how you want to set it up. Um, you can actually do negative one. That's probably a little bit better. Uh, so basically, you're gonna do that until the, until like, you get a feeling for where, for where basically the shapes on the screen should be. Um, so you're just gonna do Command R a couple of times, and you get the feeling of where you want it and how much is too much. So I, I just did that twice just for this tutorial. I'm gonna select the bottom track and basically do the same thing. Um, so you can see right here, we don't have um, clean, smooth um, sine waves going all the way down to the 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 you know edges here, the black and yellow lines here. Um, so that's basically zero dB is where these two lines are. Um, so you want those to basically be maxed out as much as possible, but without um, you know fucking it up or anything. So I'm going to do this a couple times. Okay, so you start to see um, the red clip marks going in. Um, if you can't see red clip marks on your screen, what you're going to do is go to View and make sure Show Clipping is checked off. So see, it's unchecked now. I'm going to check it back in. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. Um, you'll get a feeling of how much is too much and how much is not enough. Um, there is no set amount of times that you're going to hit repeat. Um, it's just going to be however much you find is suitable for this track. Alright, so I'm going to call that good enough for this quick tutorial. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Effect again. We're going to go to Equalization and we're going to low pass it again. Um, basically what I just did there is I brought all the sine waves up and then so basically right now they're, they're clipped off right there. Bam! They clipped and they're, they're hard. They got red lines all there. So then basically what the low pass is going to do is going to bring it back to a sine wave again. You know it's going to be that's basically reshaping um, the higher frequencies that are like introduced by clipping and stuff like that. So we're gonna do a low pass like twice and then basically we can do repeat what we just did. We're gonna do a maximizer a couple of times. Okay that's good enough for the tutorial. We're gonna do a low pass one more time and then we're gonna make sure it's amplified to 0 dB just by going to amplify and pressing enter okay and now we're we're basically ready to to do our export um, so what I set my uh, gains to um, usually between like negative 3 and 4 um, you know obviously the lower you go the safer you are and usually do this 2 to 3 dB quieter. So we're at negative 4 down the, on the bass track. So we're going to want to go to negative 6 or negative 7 on the top track. Um, you're going to find that, um, like, you're going to export it. Here, I'll, I'll export it and keep talking now. I'm just going to put that on a desktop just to easy access. Press enter. Um, so basically, you're going to want to listen to it through. Um, it has this meter right here. This is the dynamic and RMS meter here. 
um, and it has you know red clip marks up on top there. Um, you're gonna want to listen through it through, um, see you know how loud is too loud, and adjust your gains accordingly. Um, so I'm gonna close out those two tracks, and we're gonna find our track that we just exported here, hopefully. Oh, right there. So we're gonna drag and drop it in. So doing two exports is a very common thing. Um, so there we go. I had my gain set kind of low. So I can just go to amplify and uh, make sure it's at 0 dB. Um, and then you can basically keep doing with the compressor, high pass, low pass. You know, you got to get creative. Figure out what does work, what doesn't work. Um, so basically that's it. Wow, 10 minute, almost 11 minute video. Alright, I guess I've been talking too long. So... Um, Basically, yeah, just have fun with it. Figure out what works and what doesn't work for you. Um, every track is different. Every song is different. Every technique is going to be different. Every time you do a remaster, you know, you're going to learn something new. You're going to get a new experience. You're going to find, you know, a, a better, like, understanding of music and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I guess I've been talking too long now. So, Inclined, signing out.